啦啦。Oh, here they come, racing in.、Uh, oh, I thought they did. They did three labour on it and then left again. There's a lot of labour to do on here. Get to it. Hop to it. While they're doing that, I have been planning out more stuff. More stuff. We've got two more hubs here. One, two.、Um, now you might think, well, why?、Um, Build more hubs when we can put sink more manpower into the hubs we've already got. The reason I would rather have more hubs than maxing out these ones is it gives us a buffer. So should we suddenly need a surge of food or leather, or wood or firewood or something, we can up manpower. Well, sort of, I don't know.、Um, it could be sort of doubled、um, without much effort,、um, sh should we need it. So it means that. Oh my goodness! Look at this. So it means that we would be able to produce a lot more very quickly, should we need to. And if we had half the amount of pubs than we do now,、um, that wouldn't be so possible. So it's. It's not just future-proofing, but it's also allowing us to mass-produce in a short, on short notice, should we need to. So let's have a look here then.、Um, the trader,、um, where is he? Here. Ha 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 ha. So they bought coal and. Pumpkins, so、um, not massively bothered about this,、um, but we're going to take it.、Um, so every visit,、um, right? Right now, we're interested in apple bean seeds, and、um, we've probably already got wheat. Okay, so we're interested in them. Bringing wheat and apples, so we've got a fruit here. We have a vegetable.、Um, and we're interested in bringing a grain, so corn will do it. Okay, so happy with that.、Um, we would also really like them to bring. Let's see here. In fact. We would also accept cabbage. In fact, they could bring all these. No nuts for the moment. Nuts、um, in this game, I think, falls into the same category as meat. So we're set with we're, we're set for that.、Um, so for now, we're interested in fruits, vegetables, grains.、Uh, Pears, peaches, peppers, plums, potatoes, pumpkins, squash. We're interested in stone, obviously.、Uh, wheat. Do you know what? We will stick nuts on. Let's do it. Pecans. And what do they have? Chestnuts. We will do it. Damn it. There we go. So every visit for now, if you could bring these things, that would work for us. In the meantime. We would like to take all of、um, their pumpkins.、Um, so, for a hundred and eleven venison, we're going to take three hundred and thirty-three pumpkins. We don't want the coal、uh, this time, so we're going to trade that. There we are. Excellent. And pause again. Excellent! Ah,、oh, it's our first trade. It was our first trade. Now you might be thinking that yes, it makes sense to have food constantly increasing. But how do you know that you have enough food for the amount of、um, citizens that you have in your town? So,、um, on average, 
one citizen will eat a hundred food per year so we have approximately I'm gonna round up to 60 citizens um, so 6,000 food means we're right on the cusp of being able to feed them for a year okay so while this may look like we're doing really well for food for me the math suggests that we are playing close to the wire which is how it always is with this game <laughs> always playing close to the wire um, so that's that that's that that's a figure worth keeping in in your head um, while while playing definitely I would say um, oh look so we're following our family tree up here Drusilla Drusilla our first she was part of the first crowd wasn't she where is she where is she she's walking through a forest she is currently a hunter doing her hunter things so Drusilla she's 66 now look at that Drusilla 66 her eldest died unfortunately in childbirth but we call her Ella we we follow Ella because I'm not sure about this name <laughs> so and she is a herbalist apparently um, and the herbalist is currently working as a laborer because the herbalist has all the herbs it needs and her eldest was Sicilian who is a builder where is Sicilian oh there she is where, where are you in the grand scheme of things I see right fair enough now Sicilian's oldest is my Dorothy <laughs> there she is it's my Dorothy hello my Dorothy how are you my Dorothy just hanging out at the docks it's rather exciting hanging out at the docks so what we would like is to follow my Dorothy um, we're going to follow her when um, growth is going well we'll get a lot of the family chain will be quite long they'll all be living at the same time for a long time uh, <laughs> it gets kind of crowded up here but that's fine that's fine we want to follow our family our family tree for sure our town hall is coming on nicely I am very very happy with it definitely um, oh and sorry dismiss I'm so silly I'm so sorry about that um, I would really like to try and get a thousand venison 200 it's not gonna happen though is it no I'm not ready do you see that it's full this is this um, storage barn is basically full I've got a lot of onions mushrooms you see so um, and this one's getting full see how our market the desire for the market is increasing <gasps> the town hall is built what a momentous day look at this so here we can see we have 16 families and 18 homes so that means that we have too many houses apparently not quite sure how that's happened but there we are it will balance out but see this is why it's nice to have this screen right and we can see here that overall we have 55 citizens so I know that I'm slightly ahead of the game with food only slightly um, 100% clothed 97% educated that's a concern um, I was expecting 99% because uh, Dylan we know wasn't educated but suggests that we've made an error in judgment unless one citizen not being educated equals 97 percent it might do i suppose it might do it might do um and this production screen is great as well so we can control our limits from here which i prefer to do definitely um it's nice to have this inventory screen as well we have our graphs which as we uh as we go it's looking a bit <laughs> but as as we get out of our 
dodgy beginnings, you'll start to see curves, nice smooth curves for population growth. Um, it shouldn't be too erratic. Um, I mean, it shouldn't be. We'll put that on. Um, but yeah, getting started is always tricky. Getting started is always tricky. We won't be accepting any nomads. Um, I don't think... If you want to be able to control what you're doing, accepting nomads might not be the best thing to do. Um, they will give you wild population um, fluctuations, which can be difficult to manage. Um, and... Um, they spread disease and stuff as well. Um, they tend to bring disease. So we won't be um, accepting nomads. No, no, we won't. Right, okay, I like this is important to me. <laughs> this is important to me. And you say, well, why not get rid of this? But this is better than this, you know, because this I have to scroll on. This one I don't. So. I like to try and use a combination of the two. Um, oh, that's gone. That's nice. Now, we probably don't need this house. But there we are. We're getting it all the same. We are getting it all the same. Um, so I think we are going to have to build this market before we start fleshing out these um, hubs because our storage barns are getting full in these areas which is no good we need to start emptying them out um, and into this marketplace is going to be the best way to do it so let's um, open this up uh, we need stone we always need stone right we always need stone is there another boat coming yeah, no not just yet okay whatever whatever uh, we could probably now um, Get rid of that's no good that family look at that we could probably now get rid of um, these we've got the stone from here um, and what we'll probably do actually is open up this bridge because um, look at all this stone and stuff that's over there now this is no good hey eh? you can't be living here um, you need to go back from wherever you came from okay um, but yeah, so we can afford, once we get this house sorted out, we can afford to ignore housing for a while, um, which is always nice. But we have plenty of housing lined up should we need to start building them again, which is also a thing. Um, this is going quite well. We've got over a thousand firewood along with... 400 in here. I think what we might do is, um, uh, mm, do you know what? We might up this to 800 so we can keep the firewood going because we do have wood coming in. Um, although not masses of it, but we could, uh, I think we're going to double up the firewood in here. Um, definitely. Um, and in the inventory, venison, we've got 770 venison. 800 what we're going to do i think as well is up the venison to a thousand i think we're going to do it i think i think we're just going to do it so we're going to see this food plummet but we don't want to worry about it it's you know we don't we don't want to worry about it it's absolutely fine it's totally fine don't panic it anybody don't, don't, don't panic it's fine okay um, so this marketplace we're doing it we're going to do it um, along with oh look we've got the wood in for this bridge this will just help unlock um, being able to as I say get the stone from over here um, so we're going to put a small stop hole there um, and probably a small stop hole here and uh, look at all this stone a small stop hole over here um, Maybe even a small one over here, you know. <laughs> a small bridge here unlocks all of this, which is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Um, okay, because we've emptied all of this, unfortunately. It's just the way that it is. 
Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this like this, but what I might have to do is two stockpiles to take up the gap. I'm not sure if I want this one to go that far back. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure. No. Okay, let's speed up time and let's get working on this marketplace. Um, it's important to us. And we've kept the builders on, so they will um, hopefully be working on uh, paths and stuff while the labourers, which are also building up, are working on... <gasps> ah! Yes, they are a good couple. We'll keep those. We'll keep those. So somewhere there's probably an empty house somewhere. Um, or I fear that a family has split between housing. Um, I don't know why that's happened. Um, because I don't think anyone died without me noticing. Did they? Did they? Let's go and have a look at the graveyard. Did somebody die? Oh, somebody died. Oh, well, that'll explain it then. I didn't spot that. Somebody died. Oh my god. Oh, well, I'm sure I'll spot who that was um, when I'm editing. But I didn't spot that. That's why the, the houses are out of sync. Right. Right. Fair enough. Fair enough. So what's happening here then, peeplings? You're going to be building this market. We've got the wood. It's stone as always. We've got absolutely no stone at all. We don't even have the stone, do we, to build this bridge. So we're going to need... Uh, let's pause the market a minute. Um, we've got stone here. Should we... Pull up this stone. Is there any stone here to pull up? No. Pull up that bit of stone. Um, no. Okay. If we could just get this bridge. I think this bridge is more important because it unlocks a lot of stones. So, you know. Let's have at it. Let's get this bridge up. Let's have this bridge. We can see now that we have 19 families and 19 homes. This is such a good screen, this one. It, uh, it makes it makes the town hall so worth having. You know. and when we have stone, we're going to make a, a pattern here, I think. Well, that's something that we'll do. We'll use these stone paths and we'll make a, <laughs> a patterned plaza here. Just for the hell of it. There's... um. There is a well in the market when it's built, but it doesn't actually function as a well. You do need to, um, so you can't you can't count it. Now there's not going to be a center point um, to this, which is really annoying. But there just there isn't. Um, I've centralized it to the market and and the town hall and that, and I think the chapel is also centralized to it, which means that because they have a double center, all these things, the well doesn't fit doesn't fit you know just a bit of a shame so i'm inclined to I, I mean i really want a well in the middle there right but the fact that it's going to be off center might do my nut a little bit so i don't think we will <laughs> i don't know answers on a postcard should i should no i don't know you know i mean we could have two wells but then that just looks weird <laughs> two wells it's a bit overkill it's a bit overkill. No? I think so. Oh, look, the bridge is going up. The bridge is going up. We must be due another trade, trader. The winter's coming. Probably in the spring. Probably in the spring. We'll be due a, a new trader, right? Oh, look at our bridge! Oh my god. You're working like a trooper. Who are you? Don. Well done, Don. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Now it is an aim for us to have a hundred, a hundred, five and five. Um, just so you know. Just so you know. And we will achieve it. We will achieve it. Let's grab all this stone. Oh my god, it's about time, isn't it? We've got plenty of iron. Um... There we go. Excellent. Excellent. So we can now grab this stone 
and get this market built because we've got a storage problem. Pulling more stuff into... Um, the dock would have helped, but it's not the answer, is it? It really isn't the answer at all. Stone is low. You're not kidding. So, come on then. I've got storage problems and the marketplace is great for storage. As well as spreading a variety of goods. This is going to be a great centralised marketplace. And like I say, it is going in a little bit early. That's okay. That is totally okay. Um, and we can certainly afford to do more trading. So, we are probably going to show interest in getting another dock going um, and then um, and then we're going to start on um, more hubs um, I think we'll go for this hub this will we'll go for this hub which is still part of Drew this one this is all Drew, isn't it? This is all Drew. So, um, but we haven't got a name for it yet. We won't have a name until it's built. Um, oh, and the name for our uh, little um, fishing area is RV. Just so you know, this is... A oh my God, look at the deer eating all the fish. This is an outrage. Somebody shoo that deer away. He's eating all of our good stock. <laughs> this is an outrage. It's an absolute outrage. Thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed the episode if you did please hit that like button as long as you are here why not check out one of my delectable videos available feel free to come stalk me on social media and be sure to share this video with friends so even more may watch my shizwa see you next time peeps